Welcome to Archiversity Online Classes. In this lecture, I am going to show you how to calculate Fisher's exact test for two independent samples in IBM SPSS. Fisher's exact test is similar to chi-square test for two independent samples. However, this test does not require the stringent uh, assumptions of a chi-square test. The Fisher's exact test is uh, calculated on uh, two discrete dictomus variables and uh, its relation with the two independent groups. I will explain you this concept with two examples. The Fisher's exact test for two into two independent samples evaluates uh, differences between two discrete uh, dictomus variables. When we say the dictomus, you can say that uh, yes or no, agree, disagree, likewise. Then offer two independent groups false exclusive into one category. The objective of the test is to ascertain whether two groups different in the proportion in which the responses are absorbed. Say for example, the groups are like experimental groups and control groups or males and females, employed and employed, fathers and mothers. Mostly these are measured on a nominal scale. Then the variables may have a two classification like uh, below and above a median or uh, passed or failed science majors, art majors, agree, disagree. Again, these are also measured on nominal scale. And the procedure is that this procedure that is a Fisher's exact test is measured on ordinal scale or a nominal scale. That is when we are talking about agreement and disagreement, this may be part of your uh, ordinal scale. The table is a 2 into 2 matrix and this table is called as a contingency table. And the numbers of each of the four cells represent frequency of occurrence or frequency of observations. Then the Fisher's test assess the null hypothesis of independence of applying hypergeometric distribution. In the sense, uh, while calculating the independence or while performing the test, the Fisher's exact test uses hypergeometric distribution in the cells of a table. A sample size. Uh, normally, the Fisher's exact test is uh, conducted on a small samples, but actually it is valid for all sample sizes, irrespective of your small sample, large sample, any sample size, you can conduct a Fisher's exact test. Normally, people have an assumption that Fisher's exact test is only for a small samples. No, a Fisher's exact test can be calculated on all the sample sizes. Now, here the null hypothesis that we frame is there is no statistically significant difference between two independent samples. And the alternative hypothesis is that there is a statistically significant difference. Now here uh, we have uh, examples. Now one is that a bank manager uh, is interested uh, to know the customer type and their withdrawal options. So here the customers uh, are classified into two eco types of accounting holders. One is uh, savings account holders and second one is current account holders. and whether the, where is that they are going to withdraw the money, withdraw the money at a bank teller or ATM. So here you have a 2 into 2 matrix. So when do you have such kind of a 2 into 2 matrix, then you need to use the Fisher's exact test. Now you may be wondering that why can't we calculate this with the uh, chi-square test for two independent samples. In chi-square test, major assumption is that no cell should have a frequency value is less than 5, that is the count is less than 5. Suppose if any of this having a count of less than 5, then chi-square test is a not appropriate test. So uh, for this, the bank manager collected the data and the data is presented here. So here you have account type and a withdrawal. You can go to variable view and observe. So you have a savings account here and then a savings account and current account that is the account type. Then when it comes to the withdrawals, then you can see that uh, at the bank teller or uh, automatic teller machine. Okay. Now calculating the Fisher's exact test is similar to calculating the chi-square test. The procedure is the same. So here in a menu command, go to analyze. From analyze, choose descriptive statistics. From descriptive statistics, pick cross tabs. In cross tabs, uh, can you tell your uh, account type, send account type to the rows. Then uh, withdrawal option, send it to the column. Then uh, click on a uh, clustered uh, bar charts. Go to exact. Click here uh, exact and then click continue. 
then uh, statistics again here you choose the chi square test only even because the chi square test statistics will automatically give you a fisher's exact test values also so that's the reason why we cho uh, we choose chi square test here then uh, click sales so here you are expected then percentages and columns click continue then uh, click ok so the result is presented in an output document so go here and uh, view the output document here so the result if you observe it appears similar to the chi square uh, test results only now and uh, here you have a savings account total number of uh, customers 62 current account customers are 38 and their uh, expected frequencies are here all right so total frequencies now coming to the chi square test result here you will find the result of fisher's exact test also so fisher exact test doesn't have any value it only gives you the probability so the exact sign test for two sided probability is 0 0.00 and exact sign for one sided is also a 0 0.00 this indicates that you fail to retain the null hypothesis or you uh, reject the null hypothesis and which indicates that there is a significant difference in the customer type and their withdrawal preferences if you observe here the savings account holders most of the times they withdraw money from a atms whereas the current account holders withdraw money from a bank teller so this can be understand that because the current account holders have uh, their deposits and withdrawals are of a high denomination or high volumes so that is the reason why they go to the bank atms and uh, sorry they go to the bank branch and withdraw the money that is one second is that many current accounts may holders may not have a, uh, atm cards because the uh, banks may not issue uh, atm cards for uh, current account holders so that is that may be the another reason because of which uh, 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 current account holders prefer withdrawing money from the bank teller whatever the reason may be uh, the, your fisher's exact test indicates that there is a significant difference in withdrawal preferences of a savings account holders and a current account holders this is one example and we have another example here so what is your marital status and are you interested to work in a night shift so in uh, a bpo ask it this these two questions to its employees so here the category groups are one is a single and second is uh, married and then uh, your uh, preference to the night shifts s is and no so you can see here your two into two matrix again so in this context it is a preferred uh, to use features two into two exact test so the data is uh, here all right so you have a variables now values look at values single married then uh, zero and one for uh, shift preferences then method is the same click on analyze from menu command go to descriptive statistics choose uh, cross tabs then from here marital status sent to the rows then uh, interested uh, preference of a shift send it to a columns click on a clustered bar charts then go to exact then uh, exact click continue then you have a statistics here chi square click uh, continue then sales expected then uh, percentages row percentages and column percentages click continue then click ok and go to the output document so here is the output document and uh, you can see the result so total uh, single or 27 respondents and married or 47 respondents who took a participation coming to the total of a 75 respondents and observe here the fisher's exact test exact two sign is significance value is 0 0.00 whereas exact one sign also significance value is 0 0.00 which indicates that there is a significant difference in uh, the preference of a shift among the married and single uh, employees of an organization and if you observe here a single uh, they prefer to work uh, in a night shift whereas a married many of them are not preferred to work in a night shift so this summary statistics or uh, the cross tab here will give you a more uh, uh, in-depth uh, uh, inputs related to the differences or deviations even though the count of a married is uh, high here but their preferences towards uh, not working in a night shift is also high that is a 62 percent 
and because of these things you can uh, easily find out that there is a significant difference in these two groups that is a married and a single with, re with related to uh, working in a uh, night shift right so this is how you need to calculate uh, fisher's 2 into 2 exact test on a sample size where your questions uh, your groups are two as well as your uh, variables are kind of uh, are a dictomus which accepts only two responses thank you thank you for listening to the lecture